Guys, it's Carl from Studio In Car. I'm going to talk you through the uh, BMW X5 M50D that we've just finished. Really discreet, lovely installation. Um, Audison amps, Hertz speakers, Audison under seats, factory integration. What a special treat today as well. I've drawn you this snazzy diagram because. We're really busy at the moment and recording installation is just, it, it, it's just low on the list of priorities. This is, this is as honest as I can be. So I'm going to run through this sort of flow diagram with you just to show you what we've done, kind of how we get signal, where it goes and things like that. I've had a lot of questions from pros about integrating this car and um, you can all feel safe because we haven't cracked ethernet it's not a crackable thing by a shop like this we need to uh, like yourselves wait for product to come out to crack the ethernet thing don't really know how they're going to do it because uh, the ASD function is cars from a separate amplifier uh, this also has comms to the RAM module in the car um, so it's a tricky one it's got all sorts of newfangled funk going on I, I know some you know some some really sort of high level guys that crack integration and stuff like that and they've also done the same thing so this is an after amplifier integration which none of us like but it, it works it can be done and it works well so let me talk you through this wonderful picture OEM head unit OEM amplifier secondary OEM amplifier in this car. Um, I don't know if it's specific to this car, but it's, you know, all of the reports that I've had that have come back have come back about it being in this car. So um, there, are, there are other, you know, new age BMWs, I, I think, um, that, ha that have the same system, but we haven't encountered them yet. Um, <clears throat> from there, we figure out what we need to take from the amplifiers. Now, you, you have to put your own work in there because it, it's tricky to get hold of the signal that you need, right? But that's what you do. You get the signals that you need. We go into an aftermarket DSP. Now, as long as we have a bunch of signals that can be what we call summed together to give us the 20 to 20 that we want, linear sort of frequency, um, from the top to bottom, um, then we can we can feed this to the DSP. The DSP will sum that frequency back together and give us a what we call a, a you know a, a two-channel stereo output, which we can then splice um, from the DSP. We send that to the five-channel, four-channel, and the four-channel in this uh, car. All each of which have got different functions. The five channels running actively, so that comes up here, runs and mids and tweets at the front actively. Um, it's also running the subwoofer. The second four channel is passively running the rears and the rear rears, okay? Um, the third four channel is bridged on the eight inch mid bases under seats. They're not subs, guys, they're mid bases. They shouldn't be used as subs. Um, and like I say, the, 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 the five channels run in the sub um, independently as well. So active speakers in this system are sort of charted out here, is the front end. That's where we want total control. Passives are on the rear. We tend to fade them out slightly so they're, so they're not as um, troublesome to the front end, uh, but they still allow for you know rear passengers and, and higher output that rear speakers bring. Uh, excuse me and the uh, subwoofer is an active speaker as well so we've got control of these these i mean we've still got eq control and sort of tonal and level control of the rears just not independently um so yeah you know that, that that's kind of how we've done this system the rears are passive the fronts are active the subs active um come from the oem head unit the o through the oem amplifiers not disturbed anything here come out to the DSP, sum the frequencies back together, uh, measured again to make sure we've got everything we need, and then we've cut them up between our amplifiers which run individual speakers. So, <clears throat> hopefully, 
this wonderful picture goes uh, some way uh, to fill the void that I was recording entirely the installation that we do in the car. It takes such a long time. This isn't going to be a common thing because I'm sure, well hopefully not, but I'm, I'm sure one day it will be slow enough for us to set our tripods and everything like that. Um, and give you some of that sort of uh, juice that people like uh, with um, insta you know, installing the system and then showing you the system once it's complete. So I'm going to run you downstairs, I'm going to show you the complete system, sit in the car, have, a have another little sort of talk through it and uh, yeah, see you downstairs. So let's go and take a look at the X5 M50D. Show you around the car quickly. There's not an awful lot to see because it's uh, quite a subtle installation. Pretty car. Man's here checking it over at the moment. He's going to take it home. You can just see inside there the tweeters have been replaced, the HP tweeters. Inside here will be the, the Melee 3, and under the seat will be the Audison, uh, the S8, the BMW tweeter, uh, BMW mid bass speaker. Playing at the moment uh, CarPlay from Tyler. And I'll show you the boot. See if we can get a good shot of this. As you can see, there's absolutely no space taken up whatsoever. Let's see if I can rest you down on here. <clears throat> and then lift up the load cover. And under there is where our system is. Face has absolutely no issue at all getting through to the cabin. These amps are relatively cool. And that's the five channel closest to us, two fours furthest away, and the bit one HD. All on a custom rack and mounted. Back down we come. Hello James, I'm just recording your YouTube video, I'll give you a call back in a minute. Alright, bye bye. Every time. So yeah, that's the X5, I'm just going to go and shut the, uh, shut the workshop door. Right, so that's it. That's the X5's going home. Russell's doing the fine job again. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed my diagram and hope you enjoyed looking at the X5. It's a fantastic system. We have supplied and fitted everything to it as usual. Um, please don't 
buy on our recommendation and email us for uh, when you've got troubles with products. Buy them from us and we'll help you. All right, I've been Carl, Studio in Car. And this is the X5 M50D.